items. They're going to be able to cross ground pretty quickly, and you won't have as much firepower at range, so they'll be probably trying to set up a brawl. And we do know right now that 12th Donegal Guards has 9 Shadowhawks and 3 Embers, so that's that's a definitely a drop deck for pushing. And so uh, Aces have actually dropped down a player. They had some attendance issues, so they are dropping with 11 players, but still at uh, 600 tons. So they have brought uh, nine, no, no, sorry. They've brought seven Shadowhawks, a Highlander, and three Jenners. So this is going to be interesting seeing the difference in uh, player numbers. So quickly we see that Aces has actually gone after Theta. That is a question if teams would go after Theta, because when you're at Theta, it's harder to get back on top. It takes time and it takes mechs out. So if the other team pushes on your main force, they could have a numbers advantage. And we do see that happening now as uh, 12th Donegal pushes over the hill. You see a UAV go up from Aces, but they're pushing in with a lot of Shadowhawks. Aces does have the city, which can be fairly defensible. But this is the entire 12th Donegal team right now pushing in on them. And they're spreading out in a pretty nice concave trying to catch out the Shadowhawk Shimmering Swords from Aces. But he's pulling back to his team, getting into the buildings. We see some air arty go down uh, on the Aces mechs. And it's looking like a pretty good fight. Yeah, I think this is the right move by 12th. I think that they, they, they saw they Maybe they didn't see it. They might have seen Theta being ticked off. So they knew they could push on and have some numbers advantage. And right now they are definitely bringing it. And they can, you know, they're, they're whittling down. They didn't actually roll themselves right in the middle of them. They actually were content with sitting out a little bit and shooting those AC-20s. And already we see two mechs go down from aces, uh, so they are they are already at a pretty big advantage. They are, however, up on caps, so that could play a factor if this goes longer and they even up on the kills. But we see another mech go down from aces, another Shadowhawk. So they are trying to brawl this out. It looks like 12th Donegal. It's a real brawl. Everybody is uh, swarmed inside the lower city, so we're seeing mechs shooting left and right. Uh, another mech goes down from aces. The current score is uh, only 150 some cap points to 120 some, so it's not a very large lead for aces. And they lose more mechs. They are down to just four mechs alive, and with no kills for with no kills on Donegal, I think that uh, aces have lost this one. Yeah, I think the move was is a really strong move. It is a full committal move, and it's paying off. It's a well done job by the 12th. I imagine they're going to clean it up here in the last few seconds. They might just have the, those light mechs that were over at Theta left to kill. Yep, so we do see uh, the last the last Shadowhawk from Aces does try and hold this point, trying to make sure that they delay the cap as long as possible. But we have uh, three lights still remaining for Aces that are, I think they're going to try and play the cap game. They're not, they're not ready to give up. So we see uh, two light mechs remaining on Kappa? No, there are what, what some options. It's definitely fighting from behind, but one option is these genders could, like you said, go for the cap game. Maybe they can string out these other mechs as they try to trail in. Maybe they can get off an arty strike. I mean, it, it's the odds are against them, but there's always a top possibility of pulling something out. Yep, and so currently uh, aces are down on cap points in general. They have two, two Donegals. Well, two to two actually, but Donegal is finishing cap capping Epsilon at the moment and capping Sigma while Aces are just now capping Gamma. So this uh, with just the pure numbers that Donegal have, it's going to be really hard for Aces to come back. This is a 20 minute game, so if Donegal doesn't cap points like they're doing, they're just kind of leaving points trying to hunt these mechs down, it's possible Aces could play Ring Around the Rosie for a while, but uh, I, I don't think so, when we see the lights actually catching up now with Aces, lights, and a couple Shadowhawks as well. So I think this is going to be... It would take liked, a miracle for Aces. I like that the one Shadowhawk had an interesting config with... Oh, there you go. Aces does take down that first mech that comes in. But one of them had ERPPC mm -hmm. and AC-20. That's a config you probably can almost only run on this map <laughs> because it's cold enough you can actually do that. And that allowed them to have that full 30 points of damage in a brawl at, up you know, within the 90 meters that with you had normal TPC, you wouldn't be able to fire. Yep. And we see Aces kind of bailing. They're heading towards what we call Jenner Alley, which is this lower area where you don't really see much combat. We've got uh, one Jenner does go down for Aces. He was fairly crit, but that Ember for Donegal loses a leg, it looks like. And now the, the Shadowhawks are moving in now. These, these Jenners are cornered out here. Uh, they're going to be forced to run away. They're not going to be able to do sizable damage, and they're taking a lot themselves. Uh, Frag85 is down to just 63% in his Jenner, and that's rapidly falling with his Ember chasing him. Um, 
Aces is putting up a hell of a fight here at the end, but I don't think they're going to be able to do it. Donegal has now pulled ahead in the cap lead, uh, 665, or 365 to 279. Aces has no more points remaining, and Frag goes down. So it's now just Mecha Kaiju and a Jenner. It was a good game, get a couple but... kills. Yeah, he's going for it. I mean, he takes the leg off that ember. There's a leg Shadowhawk around. A couple legged embers, I mean. It's about to get surrounded, though. Yep, yep. He's trying to make a run for it, but... I think this is uh, just a matter of time. And I think that's his leg, too. Yep. He's leg now. And that is the end of any light mech's life. And the <laughs> yes, match does is. indeed there go to 12th Donegal Guard. Oh, good game. Very good game. Yeah. Well played by 12, you know, and Aces, they, they tried. They tried to come back from that, but it, it's also tough being down a person. I mean, they had to take that Highlander to fill out the tonnage. Maybe they would have been better off with uh, taking another light so they could take a DDC, something more brawl, uh, good brawl mix. The 733C might also have been brawl. I just think being down a person, though, is, is really tough in this type of situation. Not only that, but they, they made the move to push their their light mechs onto Theta, which uh, they were obviously going for the cap advantage is what they wanted, but it spreads your army out so much. You have those three mechs on a point that is completely separated from the rest of your team, and it's hard to get back up. It takes like it takes time. So uh, I hands round of applause goes to 12th Donegal for recognizing that and pushing at the exact time that